Hello everyone, we will continue the topic usual ABAP class and in the previous video, we finished with the logic part in the usual ABAP class method. Now we will run this class method. Firstly, we will check the output independently. Then we will call the method inside the program. Now, firstly, I will run. I will run this class. Now, we need to go for second method, get multiple data. I will go for execute method button. Now, if you see our input is also appearing in the form of internal table. Now, which internal table has how many columns? Four columns, sign, option, low, and high. So what is sign? Suppose sign is I. I stands for include because length is one. Now relational operator. Suppose I will go to between because we will go for low and high both. Now I will pass 44 and 44 to 45. So 44 and 45. I will go to back button. Now input I passed. Now I'm going to execute. Now you can see output is also a internal table. And in the output, how many records are there? Two records. First two records are for sales document number 44. This th third record is for sales document number 45. So our output is fine of how many column? Six column. Now, but customer will not run this class method. We need to ultimately create a program and in that program, we will use this class method. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will create a program for the same. So I will give Z sales order display. So I will write here Z multiple sales order display. I will write here multiple. Okay. Z multiple sales order display. You can give any name, it's totally your wish. We'll go for create. I will give that title to display the sales order details. I will choose the type as executable program. We'll go for save and I will save it as a local object. Now we need to go for now select option because now we do not have a single order number. We have multiple sales order number. So I will go for select option. The keyword is select options. I will give some name to the select option. What is best way? Always give the name starting with S underscore. That is a good programming practice. Four. Now I will give some variable. Suppose I'm saying LV underscore VBELM. Now, whenever I will go for syntax check, it will be give me syntax error that LV underscore VBELN is unknown. So I need to declare LV underscore VBELN. So if I'll check the syntax, it is clearly giving me the error. So I will declare LV underscore VBELN type. data element of sales document number. So I will copy the data element of sales document number and paste.
I'll check the syntax and activate. So how it will be? This LV underscore VB ELN is referring to this data element. This data element has a domain of character 10. It means LV underscore VB ELN is of character type. It has a length of 10. This LV underscore VB ELN, this is, is you, this LV underscore VB ELN, we are using for S underscore VB ELN. S underscore VB ELN is for what LV underscore VB ELN. This LV underscore VB ELN is character 10. It means S underscore VB ELN is character 10. Now we will give the selection text. Go to text element, selection text. I will choose DDIC reference. This sales document is appearing from data element. If we will see the data element, the sales document, this is we are able to see. Now we will simply, simply call the class method. We will not write the logic in the program because we already written the logic in the class method. Now our method is a instance method. If you see, our method is a instance method. Whenever we have instance method, we can always, always call the instance method through the object object. So firstly, I will declare the object. Hello underscore object type ref2. We always has to use the keyword type ref2. What is our name of the class? This is our name of the class. Now we will create the object because object creation is compulsory. So what is the statement to create a object? Create object, object name. And what is the name of object? Hello underscore object. Now we will simply, simply call the method through the pattern button. I will go to pattern button. I will go to a map object patterns. Now, firstly, we will give the instance name. What is our instance name? Instance is hello underscore object. What is our object? What is the definition of object? The object is an instance of the class. And what is our name of the object? Hello underscore object. So we provided in the instance. Because object is a instance of class. Now what is our class name? We will simply, simply give this class name. Now we will choose the method. Whenever I will go to F4 help, I will be able to see two class methods. Previously, we have single method. So it came automatically when we clicked on to F4 help. Now we need to choose the second method. We'll go for OK. Now import become export, export become import. Same thing we discussed previously also. I uncommented this. Now this select option, this range of order number we are passing in front of SVB ELN. And now I will write suppose LT underscore final. Now LT final has the same type as that of LT underscore output. And how I can check the type of LT underscore output? Always make a practice of double click. Never blindly write. Otherwise, you will get a mismatch error. Just double click. LT underscore output is of this type. Copy this. 
and declare in your program. Data lt underscore final will simply copy paste. Now it is already a table type. So I cannot use the word type table of. So whatever the input you will give, it will pass to SVB ELN and it will return LT output will return the result to LT final while passing right to left while returning left to right. Now I will simply, simply put a loop and display the output. Now, firstly, we will declare work area. I will write control D shortcut to duplicate a line work area. Now, work area is never, never a table type. It's never a table type. Just double click on table type work area is always always structure type so just copy the name of structure and type so our internal table work area is this now we will simply put a loop and display the output loop at lt final into i'll just write lwa local work area so that we can understand LWA file. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now I will simply, simply write the right statement. LWA underscore final. What is first column? VB ELN. ER DAT. ERZET. ER num. Our next thing is postnar. Our next thing is matter. Now I will check the syntax. Now when I checked the syntax, it is saying me S underscore VB ELN is not compatible with SVB ELN. When we went to function module topic in the function module topic also, at that time, we have not received the syntax error. We received the runtime error and we corrected that error. At that time, our runtime error is the same. This is not compatible with this. Now, in case of class method, whenever we are using class method during compilation itself, we are getting the syntax error that this is not compatible with this. Now, in the next video, we will understand this concept fully. That is the most, most important point. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, firstly, we run the class method independently. It is working fine. Then we call the class method inside the program. We took select option because we want to give range of order, range of our sales order number, sales document number. We call the, we declare the object. We created the object. We call the method through the pattern button. And yes, we put a loop and write statement. And we are getting a syntax error. We will correct this syntax error in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.